Hey guys, it's getting to that time again where we start thinking about the next Nexus phone. We're seeing a fair few rumors and speculations around the web at the moment, so that's what I wanted to make this video about. And moreover, I wanted to know what you guys want from the Nexus 6 or Nexus X or whatever it's going to be called. As always with these types of videos, it's all rumors at the moment, nothing is confirmed. We do of course have leaks from different sources, but we've seen those in the past, they can be wrong and way off base, so don't take them as pure fact just yet. Yeah, let's check it out. Now, in the past when I've done these types of videos, I generally have some sort of leaked image of the device itself to show you. Normally, it's a blurred, badly framed picture taken in a dark, dingy bar somewhere, but it does give us an idea of the shape and design. But that hasn't happened yet. What you're seeing right now is just a user render, so your guess is as good as mine on what it's actually going to look like. But what we do have is some leaked benchmark information from a few different sites that give us some possible info on what a lot of people believe to be the next Nexus phone. So here's the first bit of leaked info we have. It's from the Antutu benchmark. You can see the device is codenamed Google Shamu, which goes along with the fish-related codenames we've seen from Google on past devices like Hammerhead and Manta. It also isn't the first time we've seen this in the wild. As you can see from the Android L bug tracker screenshot, other listed information is it's running Android L, it has a Snapdragon 805 clocked at 2.7 GHz and it's accompanied by the Adreno 420 GPU. The display here is listed as 5.2 inches but there has been conflicting information it may be a whopping 5.9 inches, I'm kind of hoping it's the 5.2 inches though, and a resolution of 2560 by 1440 so 2.5K or more commonly known as Quad HD, the same resolution that's on the LG G3. And the cameras are listed at 2.1 megapixels for the front facing camera and 13 megapixels for the rear facing camera and it's also accompanied by 3 gigabytes of RAM. Now recently those specs have been backed up by another Antutu screenshot, you can see the total RAM is 3 gigabytes. In this case the internal storage is 32 GB of RAM, it depends on the variant of course. And the CPU is the correct code name for the Snapdragon 805 and you can see it's clocked at 2.7 GHz. Now on this image we can see the model is named the Nexus X, so it may not actually be called the Nexus 6, which may mean it won't have the 5.9 inch screen, otherwise you'd assume the Nexus 6 name would make sense. But again that's pure speculation and maybe a little bit hope on my side. You can see the Adreno 420 is mentioned again along with the Quad HD resolution and the 13 megapixel camera. The current Nexus 5 has an 8 megapixel camera so 13 is quite a nice step up. For the overall score it's low for what you'd expect from the Snapdragon 805. The Galaxy S5 for example with the Snapdragon 801 scores around 36,000 and the LG G3 with the same resolution Quad HD screen scores around 34 to 35,000. Of course there could be a number of reasons for this, mainly it's pre-production and the hardware and software just wouldn't be finalized yet. We also have a GFX benchmark result, only one test was run, you can see it scores 11.6 frames per second. This is an on-screen test so resolution does come into play. As a in comparison, the Galaxy S5 scored 11.7 FPS with a 1080p display. Now it's too early to say if the score is down to the resolution alone, again don't forget this is pre-production hardware and software, and that's if this information is real in the first place. Again the info page on this benchmark shows a very similar story to what we saw on the previous leaks. The same resolution, the same screen size, the Snapdragon 805 with the Adreno 420 GPU. Now I just wanted to bring up this image again, we can see the score is 11.6 FPS for the alleged Nexus 6. Now bringing up some information from the LG G3 which has the Quad HD resolution screen but it does have the Adreno 330 GPU, you can see it scores 6.9 FPS. And if we bring up a table of all devices running the Adreno 420 GPU, you can see they all have that Quad HD resolution screen and the Nexus 6 is top with 11.5 FPS. Now that's quite low considering the Galaxy S5 has been out for a while and already scores 11.8 on this test. So the question is, is that because of the Quad HD resolution compared to the 1080p resolution of the Galaxy S5? Or is it something else like software optimization? Maybe the drivers aren't quite finished on the Adreno 420 yet. Only time will tell on that one, but of course having a higher resolution screen means it has more pixels to push which just puts more pressure and more stress on the GPU. So yeah, there you go guys, that's what the rumours are predicting right now. As always, take them with a pinch of salt, they could change radically. However, you can see a pattern emerging, for example the Snapdragon 805 is pretty much ever present in any leak. And also none of the specs here listed have been outrageous, the 13 megapixel camera sounds like a nice upgrade. There's been no info on the battery life yet unfortunately or how many milliamp hours it's going to be, that's a huge point for a number of people including me. In terms of the manufacturer it looks as if it shifted from LG to Motorola, although LG said last year they weren't making the Nexus 5 and look what happened. Especially with that Quad HD screen it could well be modelled on the G3 but it does look like it has shifted over to Motorola. 
especially considering the name could be the Nexus X. We know that Motorola have a flagship device called the Moto X, so again, that makes sense. Of course, this may not even be the next Nexus phone. It could be real, but it may not be the next Nexus. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the alleged Nexus 6 in the comments. What would you like to see? Is 5.9 inches too big? For me personally, I think it is. So yeah, peace out.